Welcome to part one in a series of online video training seminars set up and designed to help you maximize the iReporter.tv blog system. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to log in to the iReporter.tv login area. And if you go to iReporter.tv and if you're a customer, you would have received an email with a login and a password to the system. So I'm going to log in right now. I've been in there before, so it remembers me the second time I come in. And some of you will get a terms of service agreement. Just please go through that and click the accept to move on through the network. Now the first page we're going to continue to highlight some new areas and things that are going on with the iReporter tool. Uh, note, as of yesterday, we added an area, and I'm going to go ahead and click on it, which uh, you will get a screen that says, yes, uh, this is for broadcasting videos through YouTube, so go ahead and click the security uh, yes question. And it will bring you to one of the videos in an ongoing seminar series that you'll have access to through the login area. So one thing, go ahead and click on the My Blogs and this will bring you to the listing of all the blogs. You may have one or many. I happen to have quite a few. And uh, this is an area that you'll be able to access all of your blogs and make edits and changes and do posts on them. Another area which we have is called the My Profile section. And in there, you'll be able to put in information. Note that uh, you can change your name instead of publishing it to be an alias. You can also add images, uh, profile yourself, and write a uh, bio. Now this is very typical in social networking blogging. You will put in a profile, and this profile, you can, um, you can have it to share my profile or to make it private and only show it in certain areas. So I've already set up my profile. You're welcome to do the same. We encourage it. And I'm going to go back to the My Blogs. and walk through some of the basics on setting up blogs. So the first thing what we'll do is we'll go into edit templates. If you're just seeing your blog for the first time, you can go ahead and use the blog URL and click on it and this will launch uh, you right into your existing blog. Now here uh, we have a header that's already been set up and you can see all the blog posts that are in there. We have an advertising section. If you're a business, you have access to actually put your own advertisement in there or you can use our referral program and you will get uh, uh, commissions and referral fees for anybody who clicks on these banners that would sign up through the moguling system. And through this, we have uh, areas where we use a thing called a read more where we'll do a snippet of information on the post and if you click the read more, it will actually go in and bring you to a full page of that information. We do this for marketing purposes. It helps to syndicate and get your content, content out onto the network. Now I'm going to close out of here and go back and walk you through some basic things on setting up your blog. First thing we're going to do is we're going to click on the Edit Template button. It's right next to the Edit AdSense. We're not going to go there quite yet. And here you will see that uh, you have a a whole uh, array of design templates that you can use to customize the look and feel of your blog. For instance, if you are looking for the medicine area, there are some templates in the medical area, recreation, and so forth. So you have the ability to go in and pick and choose and select any design templates that you desire. Now, I'm going to go back to the My Blog. Another area of the uh, in setting up your blog is edit settings. In there, some of you will already have this information published and you're welcome to go ahead and change it. It has the title of your blog. Now this will appear at the very top of the home page and on all the pages of your blog. It's essentially your header. In this case, we have online banking as the future. And we put blog at the end because these are blogs and we feel that that's a good marketing angle for these. The next are the keywords, and these are the keywords that are designed 
to uh, help with the posting and the writing and, and marketing of your blog online. The last part is the blog description. Now this information is not visible to the public, but it is available and seen by the search engines as they come in and index and spider your site. So if you did make any changes, make sure you click on the update uh, icon. And then the next thing is uh, you can look at doing a quick post. Now, if you click on quick post, you will see that there is an area and I'm going to cover the three basics of the post. The first is the title. Now, you note that the keywords are in here. So we have online banking, Bank of America online banking, offshore banking, banking investments, and so forth. So if I was to write a post, the first thing I would want to do is make sure that I'm working from the keywords that are already in there. So I would say I'll start with the first one, which is online banking. And I'll do a information, is it safe? Okay. Now there's the title. So I use the keyword online banking because that's good for marketing purposes. And I'm throwing out the question because blogs can tend to be controversial. Is it safe to do online banking? Okay. So with this, I would take a look at going in and doing a post on online banking. Now, some of you may have no idea how to even come up with content for a post. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch another window and I'm going to type in online banking uh, is it safe. I'm just going to check out Google and see what's up there already right now regarding online banking and is it safe. So I'm going to take a look at Google. I'm going to click on the first result and uh, it's going to bring me to looks like uh, pool.com and I'm not sure if this is part of Motley Pool investment banking tips uh, taking a little bit of time to get there and our page and here it is loading quite a slow page <clears throat> and I was right it was on Motley Pool so is online banking safe? Now, here's some information that talks about online banking and the safety factors of it, talking about some bit encryption and some other information. In here. So, what uh, we would recommend if you are looking to write a post on um, is online banking safe is to take a look at this and get some general ideas uh, and get some uh, areas, and you may even want to quote some, some information regarding that. So, there's one example. There's quite a few others here. Here's an article quite a, uh, quite a ways back, and um, looks like this site is a little bit faster. Is online banking? Look at that. This is a post of a blog, which shows you that the top rankings in search engines, excuse me, consistently remain blogs. That's why it's so important. And here's some great quotes in here. So, I have some information here. I got some ideas. I'm going to go back to. Um, my blog here and there it is okay so online banking is it safe so I'm going to take a few moments I'm going to put it on pause I'll be right back okay we took a little pause there to uh, write the content so what I did is I went through and made sure that the term online banking is used frequently throughout this and before I do that I'm just going to do a quick word count looks like I have about 183 words there and I'm going to do a spell check. You have a spell checker up here. Make sure that uh, my spelling is okay. And let's see. I looks like I misspelled win. So I'm going to right click on 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 the, the red area there, and it looks like I'm okay. And I'm quite surprised. Uh, no spelling there. So uh, let's see. What else do we have? <clears throat> down at the bottom? We're going to do a thing. Note the keyword density check. I'm going to see how good I did with putting the term online banking in my post. And wow, looks like um, it first it looks at the title of the keyword and then the overall keyword density, which I'm at 3.8%, which is very good. And note the label here. We already automatically populated with the term online banking. We want to make sure that uh, this post uh, covers that, which is the keyword. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish here. And 
you'll know that your word is published properly when we get to the next page. And there it is. 